Hey there guys and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last video we started collecting the Tears of Light in Kakarika Village and we still have three to find. Um, we don't really have any other choices but to go up to this area because this big gate is blocked. And if we try to leave town, we I don't, I don't think the Light Spirit will let us leave because I think they'll say something along the lines of you're supposed to be collecting the Tears of Light or something or so I would imagine. So we need to go up to this area here and see what we could find. Looks like the path's impassable, but I can get you up if you want to go. Alright. Well, I don't think I have much choice, Midna. Help me out here. And let's talk to this spirit. Hey, it's a Goron! Ugh, why do I have to stand guard? The ladder is destroyed, so it is not like any humans will come up. And what is with the elders? If we have a problem that humans can help with, we should ask. It is better than suffering for the sake of pride. Ah, so the Gorons are having a little bit of a problem. Possible foreshadowing? I don't know. Anywho, we need to make our way up this seemingly mountain. And find the remaining three tiers that we need to find. And I hope they're pretty easy to find, because there's a lot of climbing we have to do involved with this. So, first bug is probably going to be in the ground. Or actually, yeah, it was going to burrow into the ground, but I wouldn't let it. Let's grab this tier. And we come across our first uh, stone. This is called a howling stone, and when we... Learn the final blow over in the forest temple. The guy mentioned that when you're in beast form, you can go to these stones and he'll teach you another technique. So, we need to listen. To the pattern. So it's up, middle, down, up, middle, down. Alright, so to do this, you need to uh, hold down A to howl and then just change uh, which bridge you want to go on. Uh, so start at the top, hold A, up, middle, down, up, middle, down. doesn't have to be perfect, you basically just have to get the basics. And if you've done it correctly, you'll come to this super awesome area, and you will see the wolf again. So we need to howl the tune again. And this will give us the notes we were supposed to hit, but like I said, you, you can screw up a little bit and it will give it to you. It's pretty generous. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Alright, so once you have used the Howling Stone to howl, what's going to happen is you will come out of the area and he will show you place on the map with a wolf. Now what you have to do as Human Link is go and find that wolf and that is where you will learn the technique. So we're going to have to actually learn the technique later, but each time you see a Howling Stone and you can see the wolf is way the hell down here and we are way over here, so we're going to have to do that a lot later. Um, but each time you see these Howling Stones, you should uh, howl because you can only do it as a wolf. So I just suggest doing those as you come across them. I also believe that each Howling Stone will be the tune of a Zelda song from previous versions. I think that was the Song of Healing from Majora's Mask, but I could be totally wrong. Um, if you watch Batman 9502's LP of this, which was absolutely fantastic by the way, I think he has pointed out each song played by the Howling Stones. And we figure out that this is Death Mountain, um, which is interesting. I was trying not to spoil it, but I guess it should be pretty obvious. Um, which is also interesting that they followed the same kind of, um, I guess, 
not really technique, what am I trying to say? They followed the same format, that's the right word for it, um, as Ocarina of Time, where Kakariko Village is right at the foot of Death Mountain. Um, I think timeline theorists, and I hate to talk about timeline theorists because they annoy me, but I think that timeline theorists have put this game before Ocarina of Time, so that might be why. Again, I, I personally just really couldn't care less, but... Either way, I find that interesting, and it also kind of just makes sense to me, so... We'll open up another portal, which I guess will hint that this area will become important later on, and we need to work on collecting those final two tiers so we can stop doing this tedious, tedious task. If I could get up here, we can... jump. You gotta make sure you time it in between where that steam vent comes. What do you have to say, Mr. Goron? Why do I have to stand guard at a dead end at the bottom of a cliff like this? That's a good question. Wait a second, have they talked me out of the way because they think I am useless? Aww, that's, that's sad. I certainly hope not, Mr. Goron. Where the heck is, is the light? There it is. Alright, I jumped prematurely because we have to knock it off the edge first and then catch it. Uh, come here. Come on. Why won't you come to me? There we go. Alright, so correction. Get the bug first, and then jump. And then we only need one more. Let's wait for that steam to disappear. Ow, went too soon. <sighs> Prematurely doing everything in this game. Really not helping me out. Alright. Wait till the steam is completely gone, and then jump. There we go. I don't think you take damage from these, you just... They're just kind of annoying. Oh, crap. Falling rocks! Oh, it's not, never a good thing. Come up here. I don't think that steam vent really affects you. I think you, you're, like, just out of its reach. Oh, my goodness. That almost fell on Link's head. What's this Goron got to say? Hot! Another... For... What? What is that word? Fumaroil? And once again, it is in the worst possible place. I suppose this path is impassable now. Oh, I guess that's what those things are called, like, fumaroils? I don't know, I just call them vents, personally, but whatever. That is all foreshadowing for later, of course. But for now, I'm going to collect my final bug and get the hell out of here, because I'm pretty much sick of doing this task by now. Of course, because there are so many enemies mixing with the bugs, it's kind of hard to see where it is, but... I'm gonna evade this bird like I did last episode because they're just really annoying and collect the final tier! There we go. The Vessel of Light is full of tears and light has returned to this area. Wonderful. Oh, and we also get to be Human Link again! Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that beautiful scenery. Aww, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. See you later. Bye, Minna. We must, of course, meet this light spirit. I wonder what kind of crazy looking creature it's going to be this time. It's going to slowly reveal itself. Of course. Oh, it's a bird. Well, that's not fun. That's an easy one. It's kind of like a birdish butterfly thing. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am a spirit that guards these lands. Oh, great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already these grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. Oh, that sounds so dark and awful. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. Alright. That's our next objective. Thank you. I'll get on that.
I think what's more important is finding the kids, honestly. And there they are! <gasps> Link! Oh, McCall it! <laughs> See, Colin told you I was coming. Ha ha! See, Beth, I told you Link would save us. Aww. You are the one from Orden whom these children speak of. We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... This is my daughter, Luda. The beast took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordona province. Province? Bleh. Can't read. Yeah, I... We don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then, until now, it's it's been like a nightmare. Yeah, it was like a terrible dream, and we couldn't wake up. Hmm, nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The Dark Beast's attack, but even worse was the sudden and an inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Goron tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly treated us as foes. Even now, they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. Foreshadowing! In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try to coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart. Well, it is so nice to see all the kids again, or I should say most of the kids. There's no Ilya, if you guys haven't noticed, so that is kind of strange. Another thing I didn't just notice, but I never really pointed it out, is how come Mallow only has, like, half eyebrows? They're really, really, really freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we need to go up to Death Mountain, but they're not going to let us, and that is a huge problem. I suppose we should try anyways and see what we can actually get out of the situation, because just like most Zelda games, you can't do what you want to do right away. There's something you have to do beforehand, just to make your life that much more difficult, so... If you remember, there was a Goron standing guard at the mountain. Maybe he'll tell us something. Also, this place has awesome music. I gotta say, it's pretty freaking awesome. This Goron thinks a ladder will stop us. Well, he's wrong. Because as you can see, we can climb the netting. Very slowly, of course. But... There we go, Link, just a little longer. Ah, no humans allowed! These lands ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The Elder said no humans may pass. Oh, oh, they're hostile. Uh, I'll try to catch you like I did with the goat. Or not. Uh, oh, God, no! Oh, ow! Meanie? A weak spirit is no match for the might of the Gorons. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you! Jeez. Well, all right, we need to find something to make us stronger, I have a feeling, or we will definitely not be any match against those Gorons. Ah, how fortunate you are in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trials, or trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But... I do know one person who is able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Orden. 
Please go to him, and while you are there, please tell, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best, but we could not keep them safe from the monsters on the road without a horse and cart. Please, return to Orden and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Uh, Renato's a good guy. When I first played through the game, unless they had dropped that he was a man and he had a daughter, I had a really, really hard time telling their genders apart. Like, I thought that he was just a really masculine woman, but... <gasps> Apana! Or I should say, my ass! My ass has arrived on the scene! Come to me, my ass. I've missed you so. Uh... Uh, no! My ass is hostile. When did this happen? That's right, Link. Take hold of my ass. Tame it! Alright, so what you need to do for this is just hold on uh, and try to tame your horse. She's obviously very, very, very spooked. But this is a very, very easy minigame. And in a matter of minutes, or I should say seconds, we have... My ass back. Ah. And now we can ride her to victory. Hmm, you're not too shabby a wrangler after all. Won't this make getting back to your town a lot easier? Now go finish your errand so we can get back. Get a move on. Oh, Minna. Alright, so now with all of those very, very, very exciting things happening we will be heading back to Orden uh, to go and visit Bo so thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you all next time